welcome to the uh, third in this uh, series uh, updated for Fantasy Crowns Unity uh, on effects for the fifth edition uh, rule set. Uh, in the first two videos, we looked at attack and uh, damage, and in this one, we're going to cover the rest of the modifiers uh, or the rest of the combat modifiers. Uh, so, if we have a look at the wiki, uh, you can see that these are uh, initiative, um, uh, armor class, uh, critical, uh, heal, save, and skill. A useful place to come so that you can see what values uh, these modifiers take, uh, descriptors, and there's some notes as well, and some examples further down the page. So, if we go back to uh, our trusty Bob the Fighter. Um, and we'll do initiative first. We're going to right click over the uh, effects line here, add actions, add effects as usual, and then open up the effects dialog uh, via the magnifying glass and type in our modifier, which in this case is initiative. Uh, we end it with a colon, and initiative will take either a dice uh, or uh, a a number or a PC tag. So let's just give uh, Bob uh, a bonus of five to his initiative. Um, we're going to set the targeting to self because Bob has to have this effect on himself for him to get the benefit of it. And of course, Bob needs to be on the combat tracker, uh, which he is. So if we leave the effect off for the moment, and if we just make a, a normal initiative uh, roll for Bob, um, we see that uh, he just makes his normal initiative roll with his plus two uh, modifier. If we go back in and apply the effect now and make the initiative roll again, uh, we can see that uh, Bob is going to get a bonus of five, so he's got a plus seven instead of his plus two. Um, as I said, we can uh, use a, a dice string here, so if we give it a 1d4 uh, and uh, Let's remove that, swap them out. And now when we make the initiative check, we'll roll a d20 and a d4. And we can also use uh, one of the uh, PC tags. So uh, supposing uh, Bob was getting a bonus uh, based on his level, then we can put in the LVL in square brackets. Uh, we can swap these out again. When we place it on, we see that it uh, translates it into three, which is Bob's level, the level, fighter level three. And when we make our initiative check, we can see Bob getting his plus three effects. So he's getting a plus five instead of his normal plus two. So that's initiative, um, fairly straightforward, no real problems there. So let's move on to uh, armor class. Uh, we can take this out. Uh, AC is our modifier, uh, followed by a colon as ever. The armor class will only take numbers, so that means it'll only take a, a digit or it will take a, a PC tag. Um, so in this case, though, we're just going to give it a straightforward one so that he's got a, a bonus of one to his armor class. Uh, if we have a look at Bob's armor class on his character sheet, it's a 16. Uh, when we apply the effect, uh, let's remove the old one, apply the effect, we can see that the NAC1 has gone on here, but when we go back to this, this value hasn't changed. This is because it doesn't change, the effects don't change stats on the character sheet in any way. They are all worked out when dice rolls are made. Um, so to demonstrate this, I'm going to put the um, manual dice roller on, otherwise we'll be here all day waiting for the right numbers. Um, so Bob now has his uh, uh, effect on his AC1. We know that his AC is normally 16. So that means if we have a look at the spider's attack here, uh, this one, uh, the spider's going to attack at a, a plus five. So he's going to need a 12 to be able to hit Bob's AC of uh, 17 or his revised AC of 17, 16 plus one. So we'll make the attack. Uh, we'll put a 12 in here uh, and we can see that Bob has been hit. Um, the attack was a 17. Uh, Bob's been hit on that uh, because that's what his AC is. Um, if we uh, then go back and make another attack with the spider uh, using his plus five. Uh, oh, we've dragged the wrong thing. Uh, but this time, instead of putting in a 12, we make it 11. We see that we've rolled a 16, which would normally have hit Bob uh, because that's what his armor class is, but it's missed because Bob's got his uh, plus one 
uh, to his armor class. So uh, the arithmetic is all uh, working out there. So the AC, as I said, we can we can uh, put in a PC tag in here. Uh, let's see, uh, Bob Scott. Uh, let's supposing he got I don't know a strength uh, bonus or something like that. Uh, we can put in a PC tag here. So let's strength. Uh, no, we need to make it square brackets, uh, str and square brackets. Uh, apply the effect, it calculates it out as 2, um, so Bob has now got a bonus of 2 uh, onto his armor class. Uh, you can take my word for it, this will work. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next one then, which is a uh, crit. And essentially what crit does is to lower the uh, critical roller, uh, the dice that you need to roll for a critical hit. Normally, as you know, it's a 20, um, but you can uh, alter that by using the uh, crit modifier, C-R-I-T, and again, we need our colon, and then we need a number. Now, this won't take a dice string uh, or anything else. It has to be a number, uh, because basically what you're telling Fantasy Grounds is that this is the number that uh, Bob can hit on a roll to make a critical hit. So we'll uh, make it a uh, 19, um, which means instead of a 20, uh, Bob can roll a 19 to uh, critically hit. Uh, we apply the effect, um, and uh, we just take uh, any of these attacks, attack the giant spider, and we'll put on 19 for Bob's roll. And it's telling you here that th that is a critical hit. Um, so We've, what we've done is we've lowered uh, Bob's uh, critical damage or the, the, the critical dice or the dice that he needs to roll in order to uh, hit critically. Uh, if we take this off uh, and make his uh, roll again and put it back in 19, uh, you can see without the effect, the 19 is not a critical hit. Still hit the spider, but it's not a critical hit. Um, so that's the critical uh, modifier. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward one as well. And we're going to retire Bob here and we'll just uh, get rid of the manual dice roller as well. And we will uh, get ourselves uh, Jane uh, up on the uh, screen um, because we're going to look at the uh, heal uh, modifier. Now the heal modifier doesn't actually heal uh, anything. It just adds uh, a bonus or a malice to a healing roll. Uh, so if we, um, let's give Bob some wounds here. If Jane comes along and uh, casts Cure uh, Wounds on Bob, uh, she rolls her d8 and uh, heals that amount of damage uh, to uh, Bob. Now if uh, she had some kind of effect or a spell or whatever which gave her a bonus to her healing, then we could uh, add that in with the heal effect. So we've got our power group here already set up for Jane, and we're going to do the same thing as we've done a, quite a few times now. Uh, and we are putting in our modifier, which is heal. And now heal will take uh, a number, uh, and it will take a dice string, and it will take a PC tag as well. So let's just give it a two for a moment. Uh, we are going to have to make sure that the targeting is set to self since the, the it's Jane that's gaining this benefit so the, the effect must be on her. Uh, we can apply the effect now and then when she comes down to her cure wounds and uh, rolls to uh, cure some damage on Bob, you can see that she's getting uh, a plus two on the effect so her, she's rolling a d8 plus two so she's healing a little bit more than what she would have done with just the dice. Uh, we can demonstrate the uh, uh, a dice roll. We can you can guess what that is. Um, a PC tag. Let's see. Maybe she gets a, a bonus to for our intelligence, for example. Uh, so let's put that in there. Int. Um, we can uh, apply the effect. Here, uh, we'll better take off the uh, previous one. You can see that it's translated the int to one, which is what her uh, intelligence bonus is. And again, when she uh, heals Bob, then uh, you can see that she's getting uh, a plus one uh, on the uh, heal. Uh, okay, let's uh, get rid of all of this. Um, and we will move on to uh, the next one, which is a save. 
So the modifier here is just save. And again, we want a colon. Um, and let's just give it a, a one. Uh, and save uh, again will take a, a number, it will take a dice string, and will also take a, a PC tag. Uh, make sure the targeting is on self again because it is Jane that's getting the benefit of this. Uh, we apply the effect to Jane, and if we now go to our saving throws, uh, if she makes any kind of saving throw here, she's getting a plus one bonus to that save. As you can see, she's got a bonus to the whole thing. So save on its own. Uh, gives a bonus to all saving throws. Uh, we can limit uh, the save. Um, if we uh, have save one and then add a comma and then pick out uh, uh, an ability, then we are basically re restricting uh, the bonus here to her dexterity saving throw. Uh, so if we get rid of that and apply the new effect, uh, if we now make um, a strength saving throw, we don't get any bonus, but if we make a dexterity saving throw, then we are getting a bonus of plus one. Uh, these can be chained. So, if, for example, if uh, you wanted to have a, a save or a bonus to dexterity and strength, uh, this all goes in in lower cases. You can see then it's just a, add a comma and strength, and you can keep on adding them. Uh, get rid of that, add this in. And we go back now and make a strength save. We're getting a bonus. We make a dex save. Uh, we're getting a bonus. But if we make a con save, uh, we don't get any bonus. Um, now, just uh, very quickly, uh, as I say, we can have a dice string in there. We can also have a PC tag in here. So if we want, let's have a look at uh, she's got con. So let's. Uh, type in con here in square brackets, leave everything else uh, as it is, uh, get rid of this, apply this effect. She's now getting a two bonus to dexterity and strength saves. Uh, so there's our strength save with a bonus uh, and our intelligence save is not getting any kind of bonus. So uh, it, this will take a number, a PC tag uh, or uh, a dice roll. Uh, now there's another parameter uh, that we can use with the save and the uh, uh, I'm sure that Jane is uh, quite keen to have this one, uh, and this is a concentration. Uh, so in addition to abilities, uh, she might have a bonus to her concentration saving throws. And so instead of an ability in here, we just type in concentration, uh, all lowercase after the comma. We'll just leave the con in uh, as it is. That'll be fine. Uh, we can close that off, get rid of this, and apply the new effect. So now we are uh, giving Jane a save to her concentration saving throws. So if Jane was, for example, to uh, cast a, a bless spell on Bob, uh, and supposing then she was attacked by the uh, spider, uh, and uh, I should say damaged by the spider, uh, let's yeah, give her some damage here to the spider. You can see that she's making her concentration saving throw automatically and she's getting an effect. The plus two is being added into uh, her uh, effects uh, or, her, or into her save because um, she's uh, got this uh, save to concentration effect uh, on her. Um, OK, I think that's a save uh, and let's uh, go on to skill then. Uh, let's say. Uh, get rid of this. And skill is actually quite similar to a uh, save. Uh, we uh, The modifier is skill. Obviously, we need to have the colon uh, at the end of it. Uh, and then we need to have a, a parameter. And skill, again, will take a number. It will take a dice roll or it will take a PC tag. So let's give it 1d4. Um, let's get rid of this one and replace it with this one. And now uh, let's make a skill roll. Any skill roll will do. And you can see that whenever we make a skill roll here, uh, Jane is getting an extra D4 uh, on all her skill rolls. So, so skill modifier on its own uh, will give um, a bonus to uh, all skills uh, that or all skill dice rolls that are made. Uh, now, similarly to the uh, save, uh, you can modify uh, the uh, skill to uh, 
narrow down the skills that are available for this uh, bonus. So if we uh, keep the 1d4 in here, uh, let's say we want uh, Jane to have a bonus on athletics and insight skills, uh, and we just type these in separated by a comma, all in lower case. We can close that, uh, get rid of that, and we can apply this effect. Uh, and now if we go back into our skills, if we, let's make an animal handling check, nothing happens. But if we make an athletics check, we get the D4, an insight check, uh, we get the D4, nature check, we don't. Uh, so you can limit the skills that uh, Jane gets his bonus to um, by uh, just adding them to the uh, modifier uh, after the uh, descriptor and uh, it, that will uh, limit what she can get uh, the bonus to. Uh, okay, I think that uh, covers the, uh, the rest of the combat modifiers uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Uh, cheers for now.